M.2 drives are still relatively new, but unlike SSDs which took years to go down in price, M.2 drives have fallen drastically in price thanks to the massive competition in this segment. I mean, I was able to grab this gem of an M.2 drive for under $100 on Amazon. So Sabrent is a relatively newish company in this segment from America, and they have some of the most aggressive pricings out there. As a result, they have forced other companies to price their drives aggressively, which is a major win for consumers. So this Sabrent Rocket 1TB PCIe Gen 3 drive is going to go into my main build. It is PCIe 3.1 compliant as well as NVMe 1.3 compliant. It's based off Toshiba's BiCS 3D TLC NAD flash memory and all Sabrent Gen 3 drives are powered by the same Fizon E12 controller. This means that this drive's performance can reach insane speeds of up to 3.4 gigabytes per second read and 3 gigabytes per second write, which is just crazy. What's even more nice about M.2 drives apart from their blazingly fast speeds, it uses less power than SSDs and way less compared to traditional hard drives. All purchases of Sabrent drives also comes with Acronis cloning software for free which normally costs $30. This allows you to clone, backup or recover files on your Sabrent drive. The clone feature is super useful especially if you don't want to reinstall everything from scratch as it lets you clone your old drives to the Sabrent. Okay, so let's see what's inside the box and do some speed test against the Samsung 840 EVO SSD as well as the Samsung 850 EVO SSD. And just for fun, we're also going to compare it to a Western Digital traditional hard drive. Right, let's undress this bad boy. So let's open it up. It's a lot smaller than I expected, to be honest. I mean, for comparison's sake, that's by hand. That's how small it is. Uh, let's see, how do we open this up? Let's do it with the camera. That's the back of it. So you've got the serial number and everything, and that's the front. Oh, it comes in a uh, tin um, case. So you've got the information around here and you open up, got a nice little booklet, some instructions, where to install it. Cool. Nobody ever reads any of that, but that is it. Look how tiny it is. One terabyte of data in this tiny little thing. That's amazing. Wow. Okay, now that we have unboxed it, let's get it installed in the computer and run some speed test. So the Sabrent Rocket was able to get speeds of 3.4 gigabytes per second read and 3 gigabytes per second write in Crystal Disk Mark, which is exactly as advertised. While the Samsung 840 SSD got a surprising 550 megabytes per second read and 530 megabytes per second write, the Samsung 850 SSD got speeds of 407 megabytes per second read and 397 megabytes per second write, though I assume the slowest speed was due to it being our boot drive. However, the traditional old school hard drive got a sad 55 megabytes per second read and write speed. Honestly, the speed difference between the Sabrent and Samsung SSDs is actually crazy because I remember a time where SSDs was the fastest things out there. This makes things really interesting as M.2 prices are almost a clone of SSD prices. But what about real world usage? So I used a new benchmarking method that I invented, which is just copying the Cyberpunk 2077 game game files on the same drive to stress the controller for both read and write speeds simultaneously. The Sabrent Rocket was the clear winner averaging around 1.8 gigabytes per second write and took under one minute, while both the Samsung SSDs took around seven minutes with an average transfer speed of 180 megabytes per second. And well, the traditional hard drive took what felt like forever, 27 minutes and 40 megabytes per second average write speed. Isn't that cute? Temperature wise, the Sabrent drive does not come with a heatsink like other drives, but from our testing it's not needed. It needs to hit temperatures of over 75 degrees celsius before it starts thermal throttling, but really it never hits that temperature. It stays around 60 to 65 degrees celsius under full stress and took a few good transfers to actually get to that temperature. What about TBW or total byte 
it's written. The TBW is a number normally in terabytes which tells you how many terabytes a drive can write before it dies. It is normally used as a good indicator to see how reliable and endurable a drive is. However, this number varies as the drive sizes get bigger. Bigger storage size drives have bigger TBWs, so this is not a fair comparison as all my drives are of different sizes. However, for comparison's sake, the Sabrent Rocket 1 terabyte has a TBW of 1665 terabytes, while the Samsung 850 500 gigabyte has a TBW of 150 terabytes, and the Samsung 840 250 gigabyte has a TBW of 75 terabytes. However, this number does not apply to traditional hard drives. So what's the verdict? I think if you're under a budget and you're after the best bang for your money, then the Sabrent Rocket is a good choice. It's priced very competitively and its performance is amazing, especially compared to SSDs, which cost roughly the same amount. But I think I got lucky with my drive as benchmarks online normally show a slower speed. Regardless, it definitely has my stamp of approval and is going to go into my main PC. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and like this video. And if you have any questions, then leave those in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them all. Peace.